Hey, welcome back, Rankers. Staff moved my desk again. That's why I've got a couple of shadows and bits and pieces. Anyway, uh, going to do a site review this week. I'm going to show you also a couple of things that are, are new in Google Webmaster Tools, which is always exciting. Uh, Google bringing us new stuff, and we're going to tie it into the site review. So this site review uh, is here for Antia of conferencespeakersaustralia.com.au for all your conference speaker needs. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, of course, with every site review is we're going to go through and we're going to do a, have a look at the index. Now, you can see here, I've just said site, colon, uh, HTTP. I could do that without that. And that would give me all results, including HTTPS and HTTP traffic. Um, so you can see here, we've got 341 results. So let's go to have a quick look at the site. So this is the site. So we can see here it says, uh, what does it say? It says this bit of information here. And it says, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of speakers, but we have the best speakers. And these aren't speakers that like JBL speakers, these people that talk at conferences, okay? So that's anti right there. So one of the things that stands out immediately about the results that I've just done in Google, it says there's 341 pages. And Anthony has probably just fallen off a chair going, I haven't got 341 speakers. Well, I've got 341 pages. Sometimes the site owners go, yeah, sounds about right. Uh, most of the time, I mean, I just came from a client, uh, a potential new client, and they had 85,000 pages in the index. However, uh, everything is actually behind a paywall. So what are they doing with Google crawling 85,000 pages? And they said to me, why is Google crawling all those subdomains and, and things like that? Why, why is Google doing that? Said, well, you're letting it. That's why. Google will just go and crawl everything uh, unless you stop it. It's like a weed. So uh, if we have a look here back at the site, you can see here we've got these results here, right? So we've got all of these speakers. Uh, now, if I could just go and have a look at one of these pages. Whoa, what's that? That doesn't look anything like the other site, does it? Hmm. I'd say this could be an old site, an old version of the site. It looks like an old version of the site. I hope it's an old version of the site, because uh, if it's not, uh, 2004 called and wants their website back. So. <clears throat> right there, we've got a an older version of the site by the looks of it that isn't, hasn't been switched off. Weird. So we've got those pages. We've also got a bunch of pages like... Uh, oh, actually, before I show you that, quite often Google will give you this sort of result. It said, uh, yeah, these aren't the results you're looking for. We're not going to show you all the results. And, uh, and it says... Repeat the search with the admitted results included. For this search, that's highly recommended that you do that because what you will find is, is a whole bunch of stuff that Google's saying, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't need to see that. Move along. Uh, well, you do. Actually, you do. You need to see everything in that site colon search, and here's why. If we go to the page, the end of the page three now, we start to see these things here. Okay, they've been blocked by robots.txt, uh, but then we start to see some weird stuff. Like this, what's that? Ooh, okay, that's weird. Don't really want that in there. Uh, and then we got uh, things like uh, this. What's that? Oh, that's just a, probably a repeated page. So right here we've got, we've got duplicate content, we've got content that shouldn't be indexed, like those, um, the, this, these pages like this. We don't want those indexed at all. And then we've got the old site that's been indexed as well. And then to top it all off, then if I just take this little bit of uh, this half a sentence here, you will see that this is on every page of the site. Not only is it on every page of the site, it's on a whole bunch of other pages related to the site. Oh, by the way, I mean, we've got little things like this too, like the formatting stuff, which, you know, you want to fix up for the users, right, if you didn't know it. By the way, uh, Anthea, I'm using uh, the Chrome browser on a Mac in case you want to tell your web developer, web developer uh, about that. So if then I, I just go and have a look at... Um, see, what happens with this is that... Um, 
Google may even be going in and, and just doing the search function that you've got on the site. Google might be going in and just saying, you know what, I'm going to search by name. I'm going to go and, and you don't really want it to do that because then it's going to go and create its, its own pages. So but just on that page, you can see here, okay, Conference Speakers Australia, it's on every page, right? This is all Conference Speakers. And then we've got it down here. We've got it at this, uh, this site. What the hell is this site? Someone's published it at some point. Anyway, that, that bit of content is on not only every page of the site, but it's on a lot of other sites out there as well. So you probably want to change that so it doesn't appear on every page of the site and probably rewrite that piece of content because the other thing is that it is appearing. So we've got it here. But then if we go to the About Us, we've got it here and we've got it here. So this page would be seen as probably low quality. And so there's, there's all these sorts of things. Also, I found that there was a, a plugin that was broken, I think. Yep, yeah, you can see down here, this latest tweets plugin. Want to fix that? That's, that's busted. So these are just you know, user bits and pieces that you want to go and fix. Quite often when you're dealing with um, individuals and their bios, they'll have their bio up, the same bio up at more than one site. So we're going to have a look at uh, Salesman and Extraordinaire, Alan Peace. And we're going to have a look at the intro to his bio. Huh. That's a mistake. And that didn't work. I'll we'll go back over here. Oh, that's because I didn't actually copy anything. So we grab this bit of information here. And I'm guessing Alan's probably got this on a number of different sites. If he's speaking somewhere quite often that, you know, yeah, so there you go. We've got it at uh, a New Zealand site, Australian Training Guide. Anyway, um, so the, this is, these are the sorts of things you've got to watch. Thankfully, though, and here in your site, you rank number one for that. So, you know, that's good. Google found you first, probably. Um, the... What happens when you fix a lot of these things up though? Like we had a, uh, a client recently who, I'll just do this search again, who basically the, the Google was going in and, and, and crawling the search functionality of the site. And we had to basically stop it doing that and just say, look, Google stop doing that. And then we just set up um, separate uh, Conference Speaks Australia is what it should be. And and then we just made Google go and have a look at brand pages instead of going and searching the site and using the search functionality on the site. Um, I'm just looking to see if I'm getting that here. I think I did get some of that here. These sorts of things here, you don't want that. All of this sort of stuff says um, low quality. But once you go and fix a lot of these, this sort of stuff up, this is what happens. You, it just goes kabang, like that. And you know, this is what happened with this particular site, large retail site. This site was geared towards the US. Uh, I've got another site that we can have a look at, just making sure, and we can see a similar thing happening. So you can see this one's up 93%. This one's up 40%, if I take it, and that's just for July. If I take it back to, uh, say, May, you get a better idea. And this is one that just had problems, it just had issues. So you can see here, uh, it's, it's bouncing along, bouncing along, bouncing along, you know, 8,000, 5,000 impressions, and then boom, 41,000 impressions, right? And that's just by fixing up some of the quality issues and so I would encourage you to focus on the Google index and, and block Google from all those areas that you don't want it going into. Uh, you don't want it going in here. You certainly don't want it going in here. And if you're using Google Webmaster Tools, you may have seen um, this week, uh, well, a couple of new things. There's international targeting. Haven't got time to talk about that this week. But if you have a look at crawl, you'll see, oh, there's a robots.txt tester as, uh, this man over here, uh, Miles Harris, found out and said, hey, there's this robots.txt tester in my Webmaster Tools this morning. What, what's that about? And I basically came back with uh, it so you can test your robot.txt because I'm a helpful sort of chap. 
But basically, yeah, you can just uh, put a, 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 a use this to to test your robot style text. It doesn't get any simpler than that. And that is it for this week's show. Hopefully that's helpful, and we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.